Hi. My camera might be reversed, but it says I'm a rain of fucking sunshine on my shirt. Just thought I'd let you guys know in case you were trying to read it. <laughs> but anyways, what is up YouTubers? John's are here, and uh, it's been a while since I've done any kind of vlog like this, but I thought I'd put something out special because at the time I'm posting this, it has been seven years! Seven holy years since I've started this YouTube channel, and... Man, a lot of stuff has happened in between, like, the first time I started YouTube till now. A lot of things have changed, like, with uh, my channel and life in general. And, hell, I even added two other channel accounts as well. Uh, it's also going to be weird also to talk about just random stuff, too, um, because normally I just do that on my podcast channel now, which you can check in the description below. But, um... You know, I just thought I'd put some, like, special, like, thank you guys for watching the shit I post. <laughs> because, uh, it definitely takes, like, a lot of time to just kind of make some of these videos. Um, not, like, too much time, but, like, j well, obviously not too much time, because normally I have, like, the whole recording just, like, added in mostly the, uh, intro and outro of the videos, and that's mostly it. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, a lot of stuff has happened over the uh, past seven years. I really didn't know what to really make for uh, this year, for um, this seventh anniversary, so I'm just like, eh, I'll just do a small little vlog, because, you know, I haven't done it in a while. I'll talk about some shit, because, why not? <laughs> uh, um, I don't know what to you guys. Like, I'm looking to myself right now. Does someone look like this eye is a little off to the side almost? I don't know, to me, I just look at myself and I feel like my eye's a little, like, not centered with, like, this eye for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, man, seven years, that's a long time. I was, like, I was, like, 14 when I first started this channel. And I will... To be fair, it wasn't the first time I've ever started YouTube in general. Like, I do remember beforehand, I had another channel which was just my name. And, uh, I know I was just doing one-off, uh, series at a time. Like, I was doing, I think the first one I've ever done was DK64. <laughs> um, and then I moved on to some other stuff, like, I think some Sonic games and all that, which, you know, a lot of fun times there. And, hell... Man, I also just remembered how my videos were way back in the day as well. Before I even edited any of them, they were all, like, at least under 15 minutes. And, well, for good reason, because all I had for YouTube was my iPad. It was the only thing I could honestly use for YouTube because, um, well, I didn't really have anything to put on my laptop for starters, and... Uh, it was the only way I kind of knew how to upload to YouTube at the time, too, and with my iPad, it wouldn't allow me to upload anything past 15 minutes, so I'd have to, like, cut something from that point, like, in between, so, you know, <laughs> which, um, was a bit of a problem, too, because I couldn't really edit the videos on my iPad as well, which was kind of hard, because there were some, like, a minute I could take off just so I can fit the whole like maybe extra minute that I accidentally made in I could but I <laughs> yeah <laughs> like even some cases um, way back when, when I was uh, playing some games with my uh, friend Hunter and I didn't have any of the editing software and I just had my iPad at the time I literally had to uh, like cut the video like every 15 minutes and have it upload and stuff as well. And another funny story about that is, um, when I was also doing YouTube to start off and just uploading on my iPad, it would really, like, mess up the internet a little bit, <laughs> which, uh, my parents would always, like, knock on my door and ask me if I was uploading, which luckily nowadays, that's not even a problem anymore. Like, I upload and it's like nothing even happened. Probably because we have stronger internet internet now and all that, but you know, I also started uploading on my frick uh, my laptop 
I've actually edited some of my videos. And I say edited some of my videos. Most of them are mostly just uh, just the whole thing in and just um, intro and outro. And I know I'm just a little too lazy to edit too much. But if I do like to, if I do want to make it like really special, I will try to put a lot of effort into editing. It does take a while, but you know, it, it's kind of worth at times. And the only thing I ever, like, edit out is mostly just small things, like if I get interrupted or something, and I just cut for a minute or two. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, still seven years. It's been a lot. And, honestly, I, uh, brain fart. <laughs> I never really, like thought for YouTube to be like just I don't know what to say. It's like when I started YouTube I never really thought I'd get far too much. Well like you know what I mean like with far like getting famous and all that, which you know, I'm not really like too well known. I only uh, I only have less than two hundred subscribers, which you know, if we could make it up there that'd be swell. I mean we're only seven minutes Seven minutes, sorry. <laughs> seven minutes to 200 subscribers, let's go! <laughs> no, but we're like uh, seven subscribers away from hitting 200 subscribers. Which, I think when that happens, I'll try to do something special for uh, 200 subscribers. Just like I did with uh, my 100 subscribers special. If I mean, that was actually a fun edit as well. I know I was doing that in like... I think it was great yeah it was it was my last uh, year in high school in videography when I had the time I was actually able to edit on Final Cut Pro which was a uh, software I used for editing stuff in uh, my videography class and when I had the time and like I was done some other stuff I would just focus on my 100 subscriber special which if you guys don't know it's mostly just a small compilation of the stuff I've done over the years uh, in between the time I did get 100, 100 subscribers to, like, when I started and all that, which, you know, I, I thought it was special. I put in some, like, uh, non copyright music, obviously, and some, like, some, like, favorite and popular uh, stuff I've had back in the day. And, yeah. <laughs> still hard to believe that Wee Boxing Part 2 is still my most favorite one, and that's not even edited at all. It has no intro and nothing. It's less than 15 minutes. That was way back in the day. <laughs> and that's like... Uh, I don't know the exact views. I could pull up my phone. Where is my phone? It's behind the freaking... It's behind my iPad camera. <laughs> and funny enough, the same iPad I've been recording with is what I'm recording with today. It's the, like this iPad I've been using for recording like since the beginning and... You know, I mean, hell, I even use it for live streams, too. Which, if honest, I do need a new iPad, but I wouldn't stop using this one for recording, for sure. The other iPad I'd probably use for maybe, like, extra recording if I need to. Like, if I really need to make another episode right away and I have too much storage on this and I need to put it on my laptop as soon as I can, um, I could also, like, uh, like, I can use it for games and stuff as well. It's just, my iPad is so out of date because, I want to say this iPad that I'm recording with right now, I've had it since like 2012, so like, I think it was like at least two years before I even started YouTube. I think it was, yeah, two years. Was it? Maybe less. Because I did, I guess I think, no, because I think it was 12, was I 12? Yes, I was 12... Yeah, I think it was less than uh, two years, because I do remember uh, it was Christmas in 2012 when I got it, so... Yeah, I was thinking 12 because I was 12 at the time. And I know just before then, a uh, few months after, we, I do remember having my iPad with me, since it was new and all, and um, that's when I went on my Mexico trip before. I, need, I was going to check something, right, I was going to check my most popular video and see how much views it has. <laughs> But anyways, I do also want to say, like, thank you to anybody who actually, like, comes by and watches my videos, and all, every one of you that have subscribed over the years, I really do appreciate it a lot, and, you know, like, I guess two of the main reasons why, 
I did YouTube, like, I guess the first starting reason why I wanted to do YouTube in the first place, um, it was mostly because of Markiplier and Jacksepticeye at the time, because it just looked so much fun to actually do that, which, you know, I never really had the proper, like, equipment and stuff to actually make my videos like, uh, theirs, or how a lot of YouTubers are these days, but, you know, I work with what I can, and hey, <laughs> after still seven years, I'm still doing it, you know, it's, uh, and it's been fun, which, you know, I, I kind of think of this as like a little, like, hobby, you know, and I keep looking down because I'm trying to get the video up, 44k views, so 44,000 views on Wii Boxing Part 2, I'll even show you, that was like, that was like around the time I was starting my channel too, actually you may not see it properly because... It might be backwards for you. I'm having, like, the screen facing me, so, like, it might be mirrored. Which, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's 44k, uh, views. And that's, like, my highest one. Um, I want to see, like, what my second one... Because I don't even think my second, like, popular video even, like, uh, reaches that either. Uh, most popular. Let me see. Yeah, the only, like, my second most popular video is Wii Sports Boxing Part 3, and that only has 10k. I'm actually surprised it hit 10k. I didn't think I had another one that reached past 10k yet. <laughs> and then the next one's literally Wii Boxing Part 4, and then Wii Boxing Part 5. Where's Wii Boxing Part 1? There it is. It's, it's actually below Madagascar 3 Part 1, which, funny enough, I never really liked the game, honestly, Madagascar uh, 3. But a lot of people seem to do, because, uh, hell, my fifth most popular video was Madagascar 3, as you can tell, if you can at least read it, or try to read it backwards. I'm sorry that it is backwards, but this is, like, the best way, so I can see how the angle works and all, so, yeah. But anyways, back to my main topic, um... I, like, the reason why I started YouTube is because I thought it looked fun, and... You know, nowadays it is more of like a hobby, which, you know, I like this hobby. I do like uh, doing this because I just find it fun because I get to like play games, post them online for others to share, and another thing that has probably touched me at times because I think there's been some people, not like a whole lot of people, but like, I, I do remember there was one during my uh, Minecraft world, one where I was building stuff, um... I think there was this uh, dude that commented in uh, one of my videos that said, uh, my daughter took inspiration from your uh, builds that I've done like for recording stuff, and I was like, aww, that was so sweet. <laughs> and honestly, like, if any of you guys have had a bad day and you've seen some of my stuff and I've cheered you up, then, you know, <laughs> that's cool. I don't know what else to say, but like, if I just make your day, that just makes my day too, like. You know, like, I, I want to make, like, a fun environment for everybody. I want to put some stuff out there so people can have a good laugh, kind of get away from everything in life, kind of. Because, you know, how life is right now, it's pretty shitty, but, you know, like, that's one of the other reasons why I want to do YouTube. It kind of, it, it's, like, kind of a distraction from, like, life, you know, how, like, a lot of things are kind of going on with life and... You, you just kind of want that escape at times. Like, obviously, it's not a permanent escape, obviously. It, like, you can never really fully escape. But, like, just for a time being and just going and having some fun. Like, you know. And I enjoy making this, uh, making new videos for you guys. And the fact that you guys watch is amazing. And I, I appreciate anybody of you, any one of you that actually watch my videos. Like, I know not every single one of my videos have gone, like, tons and tons of views, like, uh, my Wii Boxing videos, obviously, but, you know, if I've had some content out for you guys, then, uh, you know, that, that's how it is, and since I'm posting this probably on March 8th, because that's literally the time of when the anniversary happens, um, by the time I'm recording this, it's, like, almost near the end of February, it's, like, the 21st? I don't want to look at the calendar, but... Okay, what is it? It is the 22nd. I was close. I was close. 
<laughs> it's the 22nd of February today for me, as of recording this, but I'll post this on March 8th. And I think by the time I post this, I think maybe the start of next week, I will start posting Bakugan videos again, because I know, um, I know that's like probably my most, uh, liked stuff on my channel lately, which I know that hasn't been coming out a lot. Now, I said I was going to be taking a break from that, from the last one I had, but that's mostly because I wanted to get some other stuff out there, since I've like been only posting like five videos per week for the main channel, so, you know. I mean, there's also the case with, uh, like, over the years, I've decided to add, like, two other channels as well, uh, in my life, which, you know, those are fun to do, too. Like, obviously, you have my main channel here, which is just for games and Let's Plays and stuff, which I enjoy, and then you got my challenge channel. I will, I will put both links to both my channels in the description below, which... There's my challenge channel, which is called John's of Challenges, where uh, mostly, I, well, once again, I still play games, but I do, like, specific challenges sort of thing. Like, I think recently I've been start, I've done a few of Mario Kart challenges, where if I get hit by something, the video ends. There's a session change if I get hit by something. Uh, just challenge series in general. Um, they're not, like, super major challenges on some of the series, but it's like, you know, why not? Like... There's also been a uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate Nuzlocke that I did. I did that one. That was fun to do. Uh, I know currently there's the Miitopia Randomizer. Uh, well, Miitopia Randomizer. It's not actually a randomizer, but like... It's basically, I randomize... Uh, I, I've grabbed these from my, my main save. And um, I randomly generate who's going to be what character... Um, for, like, in the party, the villagers, the main characters, and all that, which, that, that's also fun to do, and also with the party, like, randomizing what jobs and what the personalities are, too, if you guys know what Miitopia is like. Um, there's another Skylander one, which I should get back to eventually, I've kind of taken a break from that one, which is, which is the, uh, Skylander's Trap Team Ultimate Nuzlocke, where... Probably for that one, I pick at least six Skylanders before going out to a uh, chapter. And I'm only allowed to use those ones. And if a character dies, then I can't use it ever again. But I can uh, switch out Skylanders and just have those six out. And if like all the six Skylanders I set out uh, die, then the run ends. That's pretty much how it is. Uh, I can't think of any others on the top of my head, but I do have a few of those, uh, series. I think I even did a Donkey Kong 100% challenge as well. I've done a few hot sauce challenges as well, which I plan to actually, uh, continue again sometime soon, because, uh, I bought this, I bought these recently, so. <laughs> and I still have the, uh, Rooster Reaper, uh, I still have that available, and a hotter hot sauce, actually, I got recently as well. Which, I'm pretty sure it's like a ghost pepper one. Which, that might be interesting. I might do something with both of them, like... Uh, maybe for... I think maybe a Mario Party challenge, you know? Like, you, you get first, you get nothing. If you get second or third, you only get Rooster Reaper. And then fourth, you get, like, the ghost pepper. That might be an interesting one. Which, yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, I just kind of come up with fun little challenges to do. Which, you know, it's kind of fun. I enjoy it. Don't know if I'll do anything for Pokemon Arceus at the time, because, uh... Nuzlocke would be a good idea, but... It's so different from other Pokemon games that I wouldn't know exactly how to really do a Nuzlocke on that. But, you know, we'll see what happens. There's also a Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke I did a while ago. Um, I've been wanting it to continue for a while. Um, the only things I haven't done on there were, um... The Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra yet. Like, those are the only things I haven't done in my Nuzlocke yet, so I might go back to that sometime soon. <coughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> and then, of course, my podcast channel, which I have been actually finally getting back into for a while. I know I took a very long break from that one, but I've been, like, literally uh, trying to record, trying to put some stuff out. Actually, there's one I'm exporting right now, which is episode 21. I don't know if that's coming out sometime soon, or, like, if it's the next one, or if it's already out. But, um, I will say, 
This one's talking about uh, the new Mario Kart DLC that is coming out, which that's also coming out pretty soon, too. Ten days! Ten days that's coming out. Um, I'm definitely going to be also uh, doing a drunk stream at that time, so... I say, uh, it wasn't my idea to do a drunk stream then, but um, uh, my friend Jared, uh, he suggested we should do a drunk stream then. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. And I already got uh, the set of drinks ready to go, so, you know, cool on that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream again before then. I, and maybe if I have the chance today, maybe I will do a stream. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to see how I feel by the end of the day or if I have anything planned by the 8th. Just doing stuff. But I just want to record this one. At least have something out for uh, this anniversary because, you know, seven years. Lucky number seven, you know? Maybe, maybe for... Uh, for lucky number seven, maybe things will go so well. The one thing I don't like about my anniversary being around this time is a couple days after, like a couple days coming up, obviously. The 13th is when the pandemic really started. <laughs> At least for my case, because uh, it was on that day where it was officially announced that, uh, like, schools were shutting down at the time. Like, literally, the third, like, okay. Before the whole pandemic happened, it was the 13th where it was the last normal day before we all started going online for the rest of the year. It was literally March 13th, which kind of sucks for me because if you guys don't know in college, I was I was a acting student. I was a actor for television and film. So, a lot of things were more of in-person stuff. Luckily for the second year, we were able to go in for uh like, mo most of the classes were, like, in person, so we were able to at least do those. You know, some of the cases we had to do some online meetings and all that, and online classes, which I didn't mind the online classes too much. It was a bit harder for me to focus because distractions all around me. <laughs> Honestly, um, I, will say I'm, I, I will say I'm a procrastinist. I can't even say it right. Procrastinist? Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, I think that's how you say it, but it's practically where, um, you want to do something at a specific point, and you're like, oh, I'll do it tonight, but then you're, like, distracted with something else, it's like, mm, I'll do it later, you know, and, like, that just kind of happens, I can't help it with myself, I keep getting distracted, I feel like when I'm there, like, doing the work at that place, but there's not really any distractions, like, it helps me focus a bit better on those, so... But at least with the online classes, I will say that it was it is easier to at least attend because um, well, I wouldn't say like easy to uh, to attend. Like I was able to get to class on time. Obviously, sometimes I had to actually get there really early. <laughs> In my case, I had to get there really early because the buses were ridiculous for timing. Like, okay, so I had to go to another like city to get to class and all that, and I had a bus that could get me there in like half an hour normally, which normally the case, uh, the buses that I would normally take, they only go hourly, and every class starts at like the 30 mark, and the, bu the buses normally get me there a few minutes after the 30, like the half hour mark normally, so like say, I'm looking at my clock, it's like almost 12 now, but like say it was like 11.30, like, that that would be the kind of time a class would start. Not 11. 10.30 maybe, but not 11. <laughs> so I would normally have to arrive almost an hour early just so I can be there on time. Which, uh, knowing me, I'm not the kind of person that likes to be late for things. I'm normally an early person. Like, I try to get there early so, you know, I don't get in trouble. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that was hard. I like how I just started talking about other things. I just ramble at times whenever I'm talking about stuff. <laughs> I mean, hell, I was talking about pandemic and then went to college and all that and how that started. Moral of the story, it's right next, like, the anniversary for that is also right next to when I started YouTube, which obviously is not on purpose because by the time the pandemic started, like, I think this is literally going on its second anniversary. Is it? It started like, yeah, it started 2020, and that's 2022, so yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Two year anniversary for that. 
Which, in that case, it would have been five years before then. So, you know. <laughs> Not like I planned it. <laughs> uh man. And honestly, just, uh... Another thing, like, just with my, like, YouTube name in general, I've really just started using that as, like, my online name at this point. I used it for my YouTube channel just for starters because it's, like, well, uh, it's just how, like, I thought I'd put up a new name for myself after, um, the first channel I made, which normally my first, uh, my channel name was just my name in general. It wasn't, like, John's or anything, no, like, made-up name. But uh, I just decided to go with Johnza because it had my name in it, and I liked pizza, so I was like, well, why not? Just Johnza, you know? And just over time, I've been able to use just uh, my name, or my username in a bunch of different, like, platforms, too. Like, my Instagram literally has Johnza on it, my Discord name is Johnza, uh, hell, even my VR chat name is Johnza as well. <laughs> Like, literally, I just use it for everything. Like, my Nintendo Switch account name is Johnza. <laughs> I am Johnza. <laughs> I am not defined as anyone else. I am Johnza. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I, I definitely enjoyed my time, and hopefully this next year we have a lot of fun things. Um, like, there's a bunch of games we've also played during the year. Like, even this past year, like... Metopia came out, uh, we've started playing Pokemon Legends of Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, which are pretty good games in my opinion. Um, I don't think it was this year, but I definitely do remember like Animal Crossing was definitely a big part. I know I didn't actually record a lot during, on my channel, but like I was playing it like almost every day <laughs> in the past. There was also Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team DX, that was a fun one, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, right, that ended the this year as well. Yeah, like, just before 2022 happened, Sora was the last character that was announced. I literally almost forgot about that. Like, that was the last bit of Smash Bros. content we get. The only bit of Smash Bros. stuff that we're getting nowadays is, um, Amiibos, which apparently I've heard the Min Min Amiibo comes out at the 29th of April, so, you know, mark your calendars. <laughs> and then the Steve one that Steve and Alex one, are think, are delayed, so... I still need to find a banjo one online sometime, so I can have my complete set of characters that I like. Because, okay, uh, Amiibo-wise, I have all the characters I mostly main, so Sonic, Pikachu, Kirby, Yoshi, Diddy, Ice Climbers, so we have those six. And then I got, um, two Skylanders of Crash and Spyro, obviously. I have Crash from Imaginators, and my original Spyro's, Spyro Skylander from the original game. In fact, he's literally right here by... Little shelf of Skylanders, as you can tell. Here's Spyro. <laughs> uh, Skylanders was a big part of my life, too. Even though when it first came out, I obviously it wasn't for channel purposes, but, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of Wii games I played back in the day, too. Like, I think when I started um, YouTube, uh, I, th I do know my first bit of gameplay. I did, like, turbo dismount a little bit, too. It wasn't any, like, commentary, but, like, I did, like, small little recordings. I think they were recorded on my iPad, too. So I did, like, small little recordings posted on my YouTube. Um, I think there was a sore... It was... Or, it was, like, a whack-a-mole one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was, like, a little whack-a-mole sort of thing where you whack the mole, not the rabbit and all that. Uh, there was those small games, which was interesting. <laughs> And then, like, kind of going into main series, I know I did, like, the first eight episodes of Donkey Kong 64, and then I think I took a bit of a break, because I think I said after that I was going to get a uh, game capture, but I never did, as we cut to today, where I'm still not using one. Hey, if something works, then don't break it. That's not the same, but I bet you know what I mean, I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and then after that we did, like, Spore Hero. Oh, man. I remember Spore Hero when I was just creating creatures just for fun. That was fun. And, and plus, like, if you guys wanted to, sh like, see how I made some of the characters back then, then you could just watch my videos a bit. It's not, like, the better quality like it is today for my thing. I think it was also, like, worse quality because I never really transferred it over to my laptop because I think these pre-recorded get, like, less 
like they get less resolution when uh, they're just straight up uploaded from the iPad. But I think when I put them on my laptop and even edit them, I think the quality goes up a little bit. I think I've noticed that a little bit, so that's something. But there was like Sport Hero, I did like Bakugan. Which Bakugan, I did like uh, six, I did six Let's Plays on that. Which I was trying to do like each of the, um... I was trying to do, like, each of the attribute stories. Well, I mean, not that they were any different or anything, but I wanted to play the game through every attribute. And that was, that was fun. Especially, like, kind of facing myself with the different attributes as well, with the specific uh, fights. Like, I think there was Pyrus versus Darkus, Chaos versus Ventus, Aquas versus Subterra, and then there was, like, the 3v ones where there was... Um, Pyrus, Chaos, and Aquas facing each other, and then Subterra, Ventus, and Darkus facing each other. But yeah, that was, those were fun. Those were fun back in the day. And I can't remember what else I really did at the beginning. But I know I played games like Madagascar. Um, Mario, oh yeah, I do remember Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle was definitely fun when I got into it. I know the first five episodes that came out, I took a bit of a break afterwards because I didn't know if I could actually continue... Uh, the game because I didn't seem interested at then, but then when I got more and more into the game, I was just non-stop playing that game. Funny enough, I do remember there was that game, I think it was Mario Kart 8, and could have been Odyssey as well, but I know there was like a bunch of Mario games that were on sale for a very low price, and this is before I even decided to transfer some money into my PayPal, because that's how I normally transfer money into my uh, Switch account so I can actually buy stuff then uh, through games, but, um, I do remember, like, I tried to plan to go get, like, a Master and Visa card, uh, at least high enough price so I can, like, get those games on for sale, because they're like, oh, hey, these are some popular Mario games, and we'll get them, and, uh, you know, that was handy, I, I got them, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I will say Mario Tennis was probably my least favorite, if anything, um, well, I mean, I guess there were some games I got kind of mad at, um, but I do, I do remember that there were some bullshitty moments during that time. I swear, it was like every even episode I got pissed off. <laughs> I swear it was every even episode, because it was always like going into the odd episodes, and I was like, oh wow, this went a lot easier than I expected. And then I go into the odd episode, or the even episodes, and I'm like, what the fucking shit? <laughs> this is bullshit! <laughs> and all that. Which, you know. But man, I, I've done, like, a lot of games. Uh, there was something I'm going to say after some of the games I played. Oh, right. Uh, games uh, for next year. There are a lot of games that will be coming out. Um, for example, there is Kurt. Well, I mean, I guess uh, we are going to be playing some more Mario Kart this year as well. <laughs> because, uh... We have the new DLC courses coming out, so that'll be fun. Um, the Kirby one, like the Kirby, uh, the Forgotten Land, I don't know if I'll be doing that right away, right when it comes out, um, but we'll see. Uh, Splatoon 3 I definitely want to get into as well, and Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, I definitely want to have that come out. And also Nintendo. When is it coming out? Please, <laughs> you've mentioned it in your last E3, and we're almost getting to that point of E3 again. I mean, we still have like a couple months till then, but like, when are we going to get another Nintendo Direct, right? And I thought that last Nintendo Direct in February, we were going to get some information about Sparks of Hope, and we never did. <laughs> we haven't gotten any freaking release date of Mar Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, and it's supposed to be coming out this year. I want this information. Uh, and this is also, also before um, the Pokemon Day announcement, which that's the 27th. Like I said, I'm recording this on the 22nd. So, you know, the 27th, they may have some news. But who knows? Also, sneaky thing you did, Nintendo. Sneaky, sneaky thing. Or the people who made Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl. Because I know it wasn't Game Freak that remade it, but sneaky, sneaky what you guys did. I uh, Recently today, I actually saw, um, apparently there was like an update coming into the game, which uh, is kind of going more towards getting ready for home and all that, which I'm kind of happy for. But, 
here, here's the thing. Remember all that cloning glitch uh, thing that was going on in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Well, obviously we were, they were trying to fix those glitches so no one would start cloning and all. But you know what they did? They made it so you cannot trade any of the clone Pokemon that you've made. You can trade the original ones, but you can't trade the clones. <laughs> Which is like, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, for some people it may not matter, but like, I mean, I, at least I got to use some of like my cloned items. Like that should be fine, which I, I don't think cloned items would be too bad. But uh, it's just for the fact that I've pretty much cloned a few Pokemon that I wanted to trade once, uh, once like something like the surprise trade was available for that. Which, you know, unfortunately, now I can't because there was like, I wanted to trade like my shiny Mimey from uh, Brilliant Diamond, which is my shiny Mr. Mime I have, and Dialga for anybody who didn't have uh, uh, Brilliant Diamond. There was also the case where I've also cloned my team as well, so I could trade those out like during a live stream, but I can't now. I can't trade my own team. I, mean, I could trade my originals, but they're a bit higher level, and I'd rather keep them, so. Uh, they really had to do that. They really don't want us to have the clone-in factors. They really don't want us to use them, do they? I feel like they're also not going to let us use them during battle, either, but we'll see. Which kind of also sucks, because I did clone a bunch of Tauroses for myself with the same moves. So... <laughs> And it took me a while just to rename all of them, because I wanted to rename them to, like, Bolt 1, Bolt 2, Bolt 3, and all of that. Which I don't know if I've shown for a video yet, but, uh, that's a little thing that I've done in Brilliant Diamond and all, so, you know. Uh, and some other games, there are some games I have actually bought and haven't actually played yet, um... Uh, I, there's gotta be some day that I go back to The Walking Dead, because... There's still episodes 3 and 4 I haven't actually continued um, for season 4. I haven't actually continued those yet from my recent uh, playthrough that I've done. Um, there's the Batman Telltale series that I wanted to continue as well. Uh, or start as well after The Walking Dead. There's um, Firewatch that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I've had it in my uh, game for the longest time. There's uh, Subnautica I actually got recently as well, so that's also a game I want to actually show off as well. Um, and maybe just more stuff with like Game Beast and some other small stuff that I normally don't do for videos too much. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I also have, <laughs> I just got thought of an idea because uh, me and my friend are going to be doing like a drunk night, uh, just playing games while drunk. And I just remembered Game Beast. I just remembered I can play that with a friend, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get that ready uh, to go as well <laughs> when that happens. Obviously, it's not going to be the drunk stream, but, uh, you know, just the same. Oh, God, I'm having a, a sneeze is about to happen. I, I just know it. My nose is getting all tingly and stuff right now. <coughs> and there it is. I think we're good. Wait. No. It's hard because sometimes I do multiple sneezes and... <laughs> I can't help it when I sneeze, okay? I have to sneeze multiple times. I don't know why, I just keep randomly sneezing at times. It just happens. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll leave it there. Um, just some, like, news stuff coming up. Um... Especially since, like, stay tuned for the drunk stream happening around the 18th, obviously, of uh, this month. Because that's going to be when uh, we do the drunk stream, Mario Kart with Jerry, Trying to play some uh, Mario Kart and all that. And, uh, yeah, we will see what happens then. Maybe we'll do some Minecraft afterwards, because I know uh, Jared has Minecraft, so we might do drunk Minecraft as well. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, cut it there because I really got nothing else to say, but, uh, happy seven years of Johnza, everybody. <laughs> and like I said, the, uh, links to my challenge channel and podcast channel are in the description below, so go check them out. Um, 
I don't have too many subscribers on there. I'm pretty sure I only have like around 11 on my challenge channel and I have like four on my podcast channel. So if you want to go check those out, see what I do in those uh, categories and you know, make sure to check them out, subscribe, hit the like button, all that. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any one of my videos. And I'd like to say thank you guys for watching and I'll see all you dudes in the next video and I hope to between the 7th and 8th year of Jonza. See you guys next time. So, you do think we were doing well? Oh no. Hunter! Wait, what? Ah, oh, great. Oh, I get, oh my god, oh god. Oh jeez. Anything to be trying to steal faces again. Can I even use them without their faces?